Hey everybody, it's TK! And Earl here, and here we are at Maven Shelby Forest, which is a park that's on the north side of Memphis. He's so good with those names. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nice boat launch here. We actually discovered this lake the second time we visited. We got lost the first time because this park has such a long winding drive, and we got a map. And so this time we actually knew where we were going, and we went right to this lake here. Yeah, it was a really beautiful lake. You can see the color of the trees changing. It's a really beautiful time of year. Still pretty warm out too, which which was nice because we're escaping the cold. And here's a lookout spot with some binoculars that had a colorblind option on there so people who are colorblind could still see the color changing in the forest. Here's our hike heading into the woods. We had some <laughs> goofy shots in here that we took. We'll have a little bit of actual hiking in here to show you in a minute, but just really gorgeous park, really tall, tall trees, a lot of leaves since it's fall. Here's Brian. <laughs> He's very good at posing. And lots of different things to see too. So you have all these like viney trees and other things. There's me getting tied up in that, like whip, looked like a whip. I insisted that he get lassoed in there. Like a lasso of truth from Wonder Woman. <laughs> So lots of different stuff to see out there. Trees that were kind of uprooted and there's just really, really cool stuff out there to see. I don't know if we got a shot of those roots coming out of the ground too. I was like, what is that? Brian's like, oh, it's the roots. They make little triangles coming out of the ground. Yeah, it's like little, I don't know what they're called, but they're like stalagmites for trees, it looks like in the ground. We've really been trying to get out to at least one park so we're not spending so much time in the RV and we're getting some fresh air and exercise. So we're probably going to have parks for a lot of our visits that we share with you. Yeah, and then we came up on a spring. I think it was called Settler's Spring. And it's just natural water bumping up out, out of the ground. And this one guy said, yep, I drink it. <laughs> I was a little hesitant <laughs> We're too. like, that's okay. Just let me see. Here we are a little bit more somber part of our visit. This is our third time actually in this spot because we did travel to um, Texas at the beginning of the year and passed through Tennessee at that time. And we happen to be right across from the spot. Brian's got good eyes. Here's the actual it's a motel, right? I just missed it. Yep, Lorraine Motel. Where uh, Martin Luther King was assassinated. So you can see we're starting across from the edge and we're going to get in a little bit closer. It's pretty crazy. We, we came in to eat last time and just were like, oh my gosh, we're in that same spot. We should stop, take some photos. So here's the actual spot. You can see the wreath there. Up at that window is where he was assassinated. It's really neat how they kept things looking kind of the same so you could kind of get that feel. Yeah, they preserved everything. Here's the park. But yeah, we actually were here, uh, how many years ago? With a group of our friends. Yeah, several years ago, but that's the spot where um, he shot from. Yeah, where the assassin shot from. We wanted to get that too. And here's a protester, and I don't know if we can get close in to see what she said, but. Um... All about merchandising, I think. Turning it into merchandising. But here's a spot where I always like to stop when I come to Memphis Central Barbecue, one of my favorite barbecue joints. It's right across the street from the Lorraine Motel. Here I am trying to be. Like, nope, okay, I know the camera's on me. <laughs> I love a lot of these restaurants that you've seen in our trips have like just really interesting decor. They really style up the place. Yeah. And here's a shot of our all of our food, I think, that actually lasted us three <laughs> three meals. Yeah. We stretched it out. Yeah, way too much food. Is that yeah. really good? Brisket, nachos. Pulled pork nachos and brisket and pulled pork for me too. Yeah, a lot of pulled pork. Here's Beale Street. The last time we were at Beale Street, it was at night. I don't remember anything, so it was nice to see it during the day. A lot of really neat stuff there too. A lot of history and really cool places. Yeah, a lot of neat little shops and restaurants. And <laughs> we had like I don't know, 40 minutes in the meter, so we're like we're just getting in and out. But it would have been fun to maybe poke in and out a little bit. So maybe we'll come back. Maybe Kings there. Yeah, we got a lot of shots of the places that were outside and uh, didn't really, we didn't go into any places. You know, it's still coronavirus and COVID happening. I almost got a t-shirt. 
Yeah, and there's Jerry the King Lawler for all you wrestling fans, his barbecue joint. There, there I am playing Where's Waldo. <laughs> Where's Brian? I love these guitars. I don't know if there were more than two, but I wanted to make sure I got a shot of those. Kind of like those cows they had. Wasn't that in Chicago? Yeah. Yeah. They have different decorated guitars. Here's the other one. Really beautiful. And that's the end of all of our Beale Street happenings and our trip to Memphis. So there's a our park where we're staying. We'll do a video of that next. So. Thank you everybody for watching and please feel free to subscribe to our channel and like the video to help us out. And ring the bell. Alright. Have a nice day everybody. Take care.